Art is social justice. You creating something that says something to the world that can change minds, that is social justice. Both of these programs go into different local schools and we learn about different social justice topics and overall that art is social justice. So we're really giving the kids a microphone and asking them, what is it that's important to you? What do you want to say to the world? What do you want to shed light on? What do you want to advocate for? Our community and education programs are pivotal and very important. They are a vital part of our community and our vision here at Redline. Uh, we are pride ourselves in being community responsive and providing the tools, the resources, and necessary mentorship and community power behind those initiatives to support our community. So with EPIC, we get different resident artists as well as local artists and we pair them in up to seven different schools in the Denver area. Um, they go into these classrooms, they focus on our social justice and socially engaged art curriculum and they come up with the final piece for the exhibition. And in art mentoring, it's a little bit different, it's a little bit more intimate. We have 20 different resident artists as well as local artists that go into two different schools in the Denver area. We work with fifth through eighth graders. We hang out once a week after school for two hours and we focus on that same social justice and socially engaged art curriculum and overall just form strong bonds and friendships with these kids. At the end of the year, we also have a big show today, so we're side by side today with Epic. Our piece is about how money can get in the way of having fun with your family, your friends, anyone. We started thinking about homelessness, and but then we started thinking about how they got homeless and why they're homeless. Working with Sophie has been very, very fun because she is so funny and she keeps me entertained sometimes, even when I'm feeling like down or bored. My project is about bullying and mental health and how you can't see it uh, at the first glance. So that's why we used invisible ink. So yeah, I think it's a really great idea. All of the work you see is straight out of the minds of the mentees. So it was the mentee's idea and the mentor pretty much just helped them along the path. They just helped push them 110% to do the best that they could with their projects. This is my mentor, Sky. He helped me a lot with, this pro with the process of making my tents and I'm very grateful for that. My project is about the homeless society and how the homeless people live and due to the fact that any of us could all end up homeless at any time of our life. Me and my family used to be homeless in uh, St. Louis. It was a pleasure getting to know Jerome over the course of his mentorship and getting to work with him. And uh, you know, I remained inspired by his uh, creativity and the way he thought conceptually about this project. It's amazing to be here today and to see their families and parents here and there's been lots of tears because some of these families just didn't even know what their kids were capable of and it's just amazing to see that from the beginning up to where we are now. I'm just super proud of my kids. I'm just like gushing today. <laughs> 